With all the hours that you've put into Apex Legends, do you feel that there's maybe one combination that is completely and totally untested in your loadout history? I mean, perhaps you think that in this game you've already tried every possible combo of weapons and maybe you've experimented with the unusual by going double Spitfire, Havoc, Mozambique, Eva 8 and Mastiff. And to be honest with you, I really thought I had done it all, even if it was unintentional grabbing whatever I could at the start of a round. At least that is until today. My name's Ragtag and I am the greatest gutter to your gamer on the face of this earth, Lord of the Losers, the Prince of Pathetic with a KDR to cry myself to sleep and all round amazingly average gameplay that is glorified into tales for your viewing pleasure. Today I will show you the loadout that really baked my noodle in terms of how to manage what I'd never worked with before because, well, let's just say I got a wake up call in terms of positioning once I tried it. Well, quick heads up by the way, uh, this Sunday at 8pm UK time, 3pm US East Coast and Google O'Clock, whatever it is, wherever else you are, I will be co-streaming Ubisoft forward and reacting to all their announcements but most importantly drops will be enabled on my Twitch channel so not only will you be able to get both me and the Ubi forward show in the same place you will also be able to unlock a load of cool stuff such as Watch Dogs 2 on PC so do not miss that. Right, now, I was one win away from Platinum, sitting in Gold 1 with 4,610 points, needing 190 to rank up, and a win would give me around, I think it's 201 or so. Now, the game started in a place that I rarely see it going these days, right into Bloodhound's Trials, and fitting that we happen to have a Bloodhound with us to indulge in the hunt. Now, the reason a lot of people tend to avoid activating the Prowlers is because they fear what I fear, which is being ripped apart by a massive dowled while being shot in the poop shoot by an R301, especially if you're activating the hounds without a body shield. Now, swapping the Prowler for a Havoc EVA 8 isn't, you know, it's not exactly like a weird combo for a loadout, is it? So, but don't worry, when it gets weird, well, let's just say you're gonna notice it. Come here, come here. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, good god, we're gonna get wrecked if someone comes in here. This is a not a good idea. You have fought. Giving my shields a recharge. As soon as I pinged the R99, I decided I wanted it for myself. Nah, do you know what? Oh, he's dipstick. F I was gonna say, I'll take it. The loss of the R99 gave birth to the idea of a P2020 with a hammer point instead of an EVA 8 with double tap, which is something that I would not normally give up. Even if someone passed me a 20 pound note, okay, I'm a filthy seller, I would do it for that. But all things being in equal choice, I went for it like the, the idiot that I am. 10 squads left, round two, and we headed to Capital City having accomplished absolutely nothing. But there were enemies about, great. The trouble is, it looks like we had some snipers on my team and my loadout wasn't really going to cut it, so I had to sit back and wait or decide to push in alone like a total loser. But just as I was about to swing my keyboard like a baseball bat straight into my wall, my teammates finally showed signs that they were looking for a fight close up. Big up to us! That was the last one in the squad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That purple mag would have fit so snugly in that R99 from that Wraith death box. A perfect complement to the red evil shield that I had just scavenged. But it didn't matter, for my strange loadout was about to begin. Going for it. Don't quaver me. No! No! I will crave you, sir. I will crave you. There might be something good this way. Round three, beginning with countdown. I am taking fire. We're all inside the room. I'm spotted, taking fire. This is a bad loadout. This is a horrible loadout. I should take the havoc. The enemies are shooting at me. Taking the 
charge. How do you push an enemy team after knocking someone with a Kraber? I mean, the rest of them are still going to have shields and the hammer point isn't going to help with that. So the answer, of course, is this. Trying to stay far away so I can have a little look see where they're at. Cracked Bangalore's armor, but we'd still have to finish them before they could pop a shield battery. You should be running, my son. They successfully popped a shield battery. Round three closed towards train yard, and with two other enemy squads left, I could roll right into platinum with this win, but to do that, we'd have to say hello. Got it. Round four. That should have been a headshot. Countdown. Well, that'll wake him up in the morning. <laughs> Going to explore here. Hostile spotted. Scanning the area. At this point, I was looking for a headshot, and once we got that, well, I'd have to lead by example like before and charge in like a crazy. But let's go, team! Let's tear them apart with the fury of the Qatar! Crap. It, it turns out that the fury can be tempered by a few missed shots and a jump pad, leaving us in the predicament of a train yard standoff. I was totally done with the P-2020 now, realising how hard it was to commit to a fight after getting it down with a Kraber. And what better replacement than a peacekeeper? Recharging shields. Recharging my Rings close. It was a case of who was going to make the first move because whoever was able to extract the tiniest advantage could unlock, unlock, it's murder time, go, 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 go! Yeah, well, that sucked. But 136 points would do me, and in case you're wondering, yes, I did get into plat, just not the, the, the way that I, I wanted to. I'll punch this rock, it's how I play. I'll just do this all f***ing day. <laughs> anyway, we made it, and to be honest, this is the earliest I have ever hit this rank, so perhaps, maybe, just maybe, this season 
will be the season I rank up into Diamond. Don't forget about Ubisoft Forward over on my stream this Sunday. Catch us on the next one later.